Princess Lidiwe, Chisholm Edward, I present you the crown. People of Unkulukputu Kingdom, I present to you your princess. No. 
long live the princess! You look beautiful, sister. I wish mother was alive to witness today. Yes, but I'm here for you. She wants money or food. Is this my girl from this village? Come on, get out from there. Get out from the road. Get out now, the road. little girl, leave the way for the princess. Quick. Now, what does she want? Really... What do you want? I know what? her. Stop! Her name is Tabitha and she's not violent. <laughs> Tambo! Scan the bushes! Chips are empty, my princess. Come on. Okay. I'll take it off from her. Step aside. Please, Lindy. Please. Do not assume people. She is an insane girl. She's not healthy mentally. Please. Hello, Tabitha. My name is Chisong, Princess Chisong Lindy. Could you please go right with me my channels? And with the friends? Okay, fine, I understand. No one, no one can help you. Okay? Please come. I have a guest who are waiting for you. And I assure you
that which gives you gladness, peace, joy, and calmness. It's a pain. And that which gives her gladness, peace, and joy is your pain. Happiness is her anger. And her happiness is your anger. That what makes you smile makes her cry. And that which makes her cry that which makes you smile makes her cry and that which makes her cry will make you smile Why does she appear in my dreams? Why? You told me her name. Tabitha. Why is my sadness her happiness? Why, Soto? Sweet gorgeous, you are awake? was caught short by a horrifying dream. Soto, was he watching you sleep? I, I dozed off while we were discussing. The little girl again. What about her? This time around, she intercepted our move and beat me. Sweetheart, I think you are paranoid about this little insane girl. I am here for you, and nothing, I mean, nothing shall ever harm or come close to you. I'm your sister. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, dear sister. Thank you. You know I love you. I love that smile. <laughs> oh, my sunshine. Be good, okay? Sister loves you. Stupid joke is this? Huh? Who's Oma? Eh? What is this now? Chike will look at you. If I, in fact, you are nothing but a coward. Look at the way you take off without even looking at, looking back. What if the invaders are in the front? Are you not a stupid man? Must you joke with every single thing in your life? Do you think do you think everything is joke? Eh? Every minute of your life you're joking with some serious issues. Why? You are right, my dear cousin brother. Eh? You are right. Uh, this is not a joking matter. Eh? You are right. Eh. You're just a foolish man. You're just a foolish cousin. I, I, I regret ever having you as a cousin, self. Yes, we, we, we are saying the same thing. Me too, I am even regretting it. Because I ask God to give me a, 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 a cousin brother, a real man. Look at what God gave to me. Eh, Dada? Hey, Dada, fine man, no single strength. It is me that will bring water for you. It is me that will cook food for you in this, in this forest. It is me that will keep bushmeat and still prepare it for you. Now, let me ask you. If the invaders catch me and kill me, will you be able to survive? Oh, you cannot even answer it. Will you survive? Uzama. See, let me tell you something. In life, you don't joke with everything. This is a serious matter in our kingdom. How can you be mocking with, with the genocide, the massacre, the killings of the widows, young men and women, the poor people? How can you be joking with something like that? Hey, Uzoma, something that I've rendered a lot of lives, and you're joking with it, Uzoma. You're joking. You're joking. You're mocking me of my of of of, of, of my dead parents. Are you mocking me? You're mocking me, Uzoma. Tikego, I'm a fool. I am really a fool. You're just a foolish man. Let me tell you. Until we leave this bush. I do not want to hear any nonsense from you again. Don't stop talking. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Where is the water? Oh, yeah, yeah, you are still thirsty. Of course I'm thirsty. Every single thing you joke with. Even when you're dying, you're joking. I'll just leave you inside this bush and leave. Do you care for, for some fruit? I still have, but they're not ripe. Eat your fruit. It's a little tap of kitty. My little sister. The crown princess of this kingdom have been unrest. Especially during her sleeping hours. 
There is a mad girl in the kingdom. According to her, this mad girl has been tormenting her sleep. I declare, everyone that enters this palace must be questioned and thoroughly searched. Am I understood? Yes. Tambo. Take your men into the kingdom. Search everywhere. Fetch me that lunatic. I want her here alive. Yes, my dear. The princess is the most important personnel in this kingdom. If anything should happen to her, your heads will leave your necks. I don't give threatening words. I make promise. Now dismiss. This is my They said you are a mad girl. But they don't know that madness is far from your blood. Truth will never be hidden forever. Where are you going now, my daughter? Mamoko needs water to drink. Will you help me, Tabita, my daughter? My sister interrupted our conversation last night. Sorry about that. So too. My princess. Could you please elaborate my dreams and what you meant by those words last night? My princess, I say what the gods tells me to say. Then tell the gods that I, the princess, is worried. I am worried, Soto. I am scared. I am tired of having these horrifying dreams of Tabitha and I. Tell them, tell them that I am worried. My princess. You ha- Leave us. I want to know all about my late father, King Edward. My princess, I have told you all the story that you need to know. He raped her and got her pregnant. He did it. Did what? My father slept with one of my aunts. 
my mother's sister. God, can you do me a favor and take away this rubbish boy out of my sight? Uzoma. Yes. How can you possibly be telling me this nonsense? I ask, can we go to your mother's place or any of your mother's sister's place for safety? Ha! I am telling you that the only one that I know her house is the one that my father slept with. And I vowed with my blood, water and all the cells in my body that I will never go to her house or even think of going to her place. Even, in my, even if I am dying right now. Okay, can we go to your maternal home? That is my maternal home now. No. I mean your mother's place, your mother's home, not your auntie. Hi. Oh. My auntie did not marry at all, at all. She is 74 years old now. And my maternal home is her home. Don't you get it, Ewa Dada? Don't you get it? Are you saying that we're going to sleep inside this bush again? Again? Ha. Ha. Chikebu. Must I be the one bringing her to sleep? You, don't you have a maternal home? Did your mother fly from the sky? Let us go to your maternal home. Don't, don't, don't be a fool. They invaded my maternal home and, and, and took over the territory. What? What? Did you hear that? Hear what? Huh? <laughs> Inside my bedroom. You will see a gold pot. Bring it out.
Open it. Beautiful. Mm. I said, when I'm about to join your father, I shall give it to you. Mother, you are not going anywhere. You are not leaving my sister and I. Everybody has a day to exit the earth. Death is inevitable, my dear. Huh? Mother, please. Let's try South Africa. Since we've been to the US, London and, and India, yet they haven't been able to treat this ugly cancer. Please do not give up hope. Let's try Let's try South Africa, mother, please. You will not understand my daughter. When a visitor knocks at your door, you cannot say come back tomorrow. You are the princess of this kingdom. You are the jewel of the sun. I see the gods unveiling the hidden just to prove a point. What, what do you mean, mother? You will understand someday when your husband becomes a king. No, mother. I am... I am the last child. It is my sister, Prudentia, that's, that should live with her husband here. This should be her home, as the tradition demands. She is to provide a king by getting married to the man who captures her heart. Not me. What if the gods favor you? What if they choose you? Because I know they will choose you. Not because of your golden heart, but they will. Oh. You will cherish the golden pot like I did for many years. You will put it on when the man detects your mind. Remember me when the man puts it on your neck, my adorable daughter Lindy Wee. Mother. I want to rest now. Mother, we are still talking. Take the gold pot and leave. Let me save my remaining breath. <sighs>
Samuel. Yes, my queen. Serve her like you serve me and my husband, the king. Yes, my queen. I wish I have more life. Not even the gold should be trusted. My heart is evil. So many hearts are evil. Do not be deceived by a golden heart. We all have our backside. Tambo. Yes, my queen. Please protect her. Even if she loses the precious gift, and not lose her life. Mm. I want to rest now. Cover me. Yes, my queen. to get married just so I just so I would wear this beautiful piece from our mother it is so beautiful it is so beautiful <laughs> I can't wait to I can't wait to see that lucky man I will be the man for you. I can't wait to see you reign in this kingdom with your husband. <laughs> Sweet angel. <laughs> oh, 
This room fills this place. It's okay, sweetheart. The elders are waiting for us. They want to have a brief meeting with us. Come on, let's go. Princess of Nkurumbu. Elders of Nkurumbu to Royal Cabinet. Oh, no. mm -hmm. I welcome all of us today. Okay. In fact, I'm in a happy mood because in the next several market days, mm -hmm. our crown princess here will be fully installed so she cannot go around the entire kingdom and make a choice of her husband who automatically becomes our king, the king of great Nkolumbu to kingdom, just as our custom dictates. Yes. Huh? <laughs> it is our custom and tradition that the chosen princess will remain in the palace forever with her husband who will in turn become our king. In a case as this, where our late king, His Majesty, King Edward IV, died without a son, our choosing princess here will have to make up her mind. In our next meeting, she has to indicate interest in getting married, because our throne cannot be vacant. In addition, taking a man as a husband and a king from our kingdom, it's not a child's play. It's for the brave heart, not a cheating hearted. These are the men who can sacrifice their lives, who can give all to humanity. I mean, if they fail, if they fail to detect what they have in mind, they'll be put to death. That's our tradition. Yes, a tradition. So the race or competition is too open for all men, both young and old, big or small, healthy or no healthy. Study does not matter this time around. The only thing that matters is the ability. Anyone who can sacrifice all to the benefit of this community. Good. You got it. You got it well. Good. That is our tradition. <laughs> Greetings, elders of our land. I mean, cabinet members of Nkulumbuti Kingdom. Welcome, My sister and I are already acquainted with the norms of this kingdom. Still, I will say thank you so much for your words and the reminder. We appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ah, thank you, my princess. Having done all that, I think we are set. The stage is now set to move forward. Exactly. <laughs> This is barbaric and it has to stop. I mean, 
mean? I don't even have a say on the kind of man I want. I want a tall, dark, and elegant man. That's the picture I have in my head. Sweetheart. Take it easy. Why are you working yourself up? Relax. Relax your mind. You see, this has been the culture of our great kingdom. And there is nothing we can do about it now. We are handicapped. So calm down, relax and take it easy. Okay? Sister, why? Why did that mean? Why me? The goats are unfair to me. What, why did why 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 did they even choose me in the first place? I mean, any culture that takes away one's freedom of life and 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 choice in a man is barbaric and it's unacceptable. It has to stop. My love, my love, calm down. Just take it. It's okay. I don't like seeing you like this. Okay. Look at the opportunity here. Your husband to be the king who have the staff and the ability to abort this culture. What about it? Oh, please calm down. It's okay. Sweetheart. You know I don't like seeing you like this. Come on, smile for your sister. <laughs> Huh? Hi, my princess. Huh? Sweetheart. <laughs> you. Look at you. When did you get back? Hi, Remy. Hi. Good to see you. Same here. I'll have to excuse both of you. <laughs> come on, come here. Um, are you are you okay? Yes, yes, I, I am. And uh, she? Yes, my little sister. She's now the crown princess. <laughs> wow! Congratulations! It's <laughs> uh, okay. That's nice. So, let's go to my room. Chikegu, Chikegu, this man is dead. This man is dead. He's yeah? still dead. He's not dead. I can feel it. He's still alive. He's still breathing. Look at it. Look at it. He's still breathing. I... Take it where fool, no? I said this man is dead. In fact, half dead. Okay, let me ask you. What if these people come and meet us here? They will not come. Let's help this man. Let's help this man. This man is still alive. Let's, let's help him. Hey! Why is my cousin brother see, see, so see, daft? He's still breathing, though. No? Let's help Why him. Why are you so daft? In fact, carry your thing yourself. I am going. Leave me alone! Leave me! Oh, tumble, 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 tumble. I am fine. Fetch, fetch me Soto. Come in.
My princess. What will my princess have for breakfast? Neketa. Yes, my princess. Please sit. My princess. Sit. You see visions, right? You are the one who predicted my father's death. And it came to pass. My princess. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't panic. You have such an amazing gift. Now tell me. What is my fate? I want to know. Would Tabitha finally kill me? Oh yes. Because she's been violent to me in my dreams. Yet, I keep going to her. I want to help her. But she's out of my reach. I need I need to get her a healer. I want to know, why does she trouble my dreams? Why is she haunting me? Whatever you're saying, I need to hear it all. I, just, my just princess. Say, yes, please. I need decorum. Of course. No! 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 Oh! <laughs> to death so we can focus on our journey you did this you did this I wish I knew who he was. His last word gave me energy to try to save his life. Bury me? Come on, he's dead already. 
I know. I know. So can we now talk while we are going to reside in Nkulumbut Kingdom? Nigeria just to find out if I'm the chosen princess. Okay, don't show you getting me wrong. Okay, listen. You are the first princess. The first princess of this great kingdom, this palace. You are the first daughter of late King Edward. My love, I just told you that the the gods chose my sister, not me. I mean, why? Why would the gods choose your sister rather than choosing you? Why? Look, something is definitely not right here. Something is not right here. Because by virtue, you're supposed to be the, the princess, the chosen princess. Why would the gods choose your sister instead of you? Why? I love, I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I am fine. See, I am so far excited and proud of my sister. Yes, she merits everything. The gods chose her. And I am so happy for her. And let me tell you, I will not love her less. Not even now. Wait, wait, um, wait. Take it easy, okay? You want to tell me, for real, you want to tell me that you're comfortable with the gods' decision? Is that what you want to tell me? Sweetheart, why are you giving me the impression that you have been dating me for five years now because you want to be the king? Why? No, no, no. no. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, Prudentia. The thing is, come on now. Why not now? It's somehow, no, no, look at it. Let's be sincere to ourselves. Why would the gods choose your sister rather than choosing you? Why? You are the elder sister for God's sake. My love, that is God's wish. Don't give me that. That's not God's wish. That's not the wish of the gods. Don't tell me that. I see you have been dating me conditionally. Hoping that I will be the chosen princess. Then you will be the king. And take over my father's companies. And the entire empire of my great father. King Edward. <laughs> if only you knew that it takes blood to be a king in this great kingdom. <laughs> What did you just say? I said, I am interested in marrying the chosen princess. Fault? After my support to your career, you stand here to tell me you want to marry my younger sister just to become a king. I'm sorry, Prudentia, it is what it is. Look, 
I don't know how else to make you understand, okay? I have joined the Raider. I mean, I have joined other men to contest for your sister. Please. <laughs> Try and understand me, okay? Try and understand my plight here. I have longed and wished to become the king. Prudential, I will not lie to you. I can't watch this golden opportunity slip out of my hands. Please. Remy. I cannot pray for your soul to rest in peace. But I see your death. Very close. <laughs> you dare break my heart. You came here to rip my heart apart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leave this minute, Remy. Fudeja, I said I'm Leave. sorry. Don't be selfish. I don't want the guys to refine to you. I said leave. Alright, fine. me to hate my sister. You want me to breed envy and jealous to my only beloved sister. No, no, it will never happen. I will always love you. I will always love you. I will never, I will always protect my sister. I will never do that, God. I, I, I am tired. I am tired. I am not coming again. I swear by the name of our thoughts. I am tired. See, see, see. Tigebu, this is a village. This is a village. Let us, let us stay here, please. Huh? Unless you want me to die here. Oh, give me. Is she Dada? Hold my stick. Where are you going? Hold my stick. Is she Dada? Is she Dada? Hey. Hey. Do you talk? Do you talk? We are we 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 are going to Nkulumbutu Kingdom. Nkulu Nkulu Nkulumbutu Nkulu Nkulumbutu Kingdom. Do you know that place? Nkulumbutu, Nkulumbutu Kingdom. Nkulumbutu, Nkulumbutu Kingdom.
What did you tell, tell her that made her run away? We are on the land of Nkulumbutu. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> uh, Chike, uh, please, uh, uh, did you ask that, that poor girl if the people of that land eat human flesh? I, I mean, if they are cannibals. When we get there, you ask the king. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. See, see. It's, it's important for our safety. It's very important to. Greetings. Mama. Strangers. Oh, beautiful skins to behold. Eh? Oh. I see a thousand sorrows in your eyes. Oh. Flesh, flesh covers a lot. Mama, please can we follow you to your house so you can give us water to drink? Eh? Chikegu. We are thirsty. Chikegu. Um, Mama, <laughs> uh, please, eh? you can give him water to drink. I am fine. I am not thirsty. See, eh? you will die in this kingdom, bet me. No, Kurum, let's bet. Bet me. He is bold like a king. Brave like a warrior. Mm. Kind like a dove. <laughs> he is fearless in his eyes. Even his words cannot break him. I sell snuff, my children. Do you sniff snuff so I can send for you? Mama, hmm? I am thirsty. Please, I need water to drink if you have water in your house. Indeed. He knows what he wants. I've tested him. My son, please put me in your back. Take me home. My house is across the graveyard of the demon. Hey, 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 hey. This is a ghost. A thief ghost and even an old ghost. Let us go. Let us go. Graveyard. You see? Shut up. Just Mechuono, shut up for once. I am going to help her. Mechuono. Can't you see that she, she, she's tired already? For time to save your life, I will shut up. Did you see the way she's laughing? Mama, <laughs> let me back you and take you home. Smart than now, this woman will just do pium. She will disappear. You want to do pium? You do pium. I will not do pium with you. Identify yourself. Like I said before, my name is Chike Guazara. And like I said before too, my name is Ozoma Timba. Timba. Nkenta. Listen, I am sorry for disrupting whatever you're doing. But it's been five hours now. I need answers. I need you to tell me the things you've seen so far. I am impatient. Come on. You will die. What did you just say to me? And where are you from? I mean, which of the kingdoms do you come from? Where is she? Where is she? You evil princess, leave my children alone. 
I'm on Nuku. Good to see you. You decided to visit the palace today? You know why I'm here. I came for my children. Release my children from me. Yeah, uh, this woman. Mamuku. What do you mean by your children? Is there anywhere anybody planted yam that his brothers don't know? Eh? Why are you talking about children? We all know you have no children. You don't even have a husband. Not to talk about having children. Oh no. Evil man. I be remember come on I keep a call. I'm not here to banter west with you. How dare you arrest my children? Release them now for me, for they are mine. Mama Nuku, I am so glad to see you here. It's fine. <laughs> you shall go with plenty of meals. I don't need it. Mm. It's fine. We are trying to protect our land from invaders and strangers that are totally harmful to this kingdom. Just like this one. But it's fine. My sister, the crown princess, said that they are not harmful. So, I shall release them to you. <laughs> oh, oh, the chosen one has spoken already. Yes. So, just go and thank your chief. Guards! Guards! It's fine. I, she wants to kill me. It's okay. I am she here was, now. She was, Your sister is here. No one can harm you. Okay? I will never leave your sight again. I will always be here for you, my love. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Evil intentions. Flying into the air. Looking like an innocent dove. White, beautiful bird. But they are like ravens troubling the eagle king. All birds. Well, just come down, okay? Tambo! Tambo! My princess. I want you to find me who wants my sister dead. happen to the princess. Now, leave. Get me who wants my sister dead. Leave now.
The king of all birds. <laughs> I did nothing to her. and princess. Speak! If my dead bro, devil, in a daily words, I will not speak. I will not speak. I know how to handle little maggots like you. I am Kenta. The smallest, but my heart is bigger. You cannot break me. I will not speak. Tambo, the cobra. Tambo. 
tell my sister, the chosen princess, that she refused to talk. But I know she will talk tomorrow. Yes, my princess. She is not going to confess, my princess. So, who is behind her mission? A friend. You see? Look. Look. Closely. Use your head. For whoever you truly know. Can they be your end? I mean, Whoever you see now, look. Sister. News came to me that you have been throwing up. Is that fever? Should I get you a doctor? No, I'm fine, sister. I am overwhelmed. Soto says she's not going to confess. Soto. Is that true? We all know the truth. Soto, consult the gods. Disturb them. Worry them. Seek from them like never before. Let them speak. Tell us who is behind this act. I want to know who wants to kill my only beloved sister. Did you hear her? She said our home. See, what is our next plan? We cannot just be staying here. We can't be staying here. This woman may just die one day and they will accuse us of killing her. And before you know it, they will cook and eat also. Imagine your head boiling in a pot like a head of goat. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> like a Like a shew. Shew. Thank you. 
with her again. This time around, she was pulling my hair. It's all right. Soto is working very hard to fetch our enemies, your enemies, okay? You don't look, you don't look okay. You look better, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Kenta is dead. How? When? How, sister? When? She prefers to take her life down to confess. Strangled herself with her own aunties. No. No, that is impossible. No, it is not true. It can't be. It can't. Yes. She did. It's all right, my sister. I would not relent. I must fetch who wants my sister.
Evil enemies are seen only by the gods. We make daily sacrifices and prayers for the chosen princes to be protected by the gods of the land. Nayeke, are you telling me that you cannot find out the enemy in and out of the palace? My princess, the enemy is the mind. When the mind is trapped to do evil, it becomes more dangerous for everyone. Whoever thinks evil is an enemy. But then, tell me, how do you open the minds to know what the mortals are thinking? That's why I say, only the gods knows everything. He sees everything from the beginning. My sister, the chosen princess, hardly sleep at night. Her worst enemy is Tabitha. Each time I send the guards to go fetch her, she disappears into the thin air. Now tell me, for the third time, who is Tabitha? And how did she become a terror to my sister? Secret. Far, far secret. Your mother, the late queen, is to be blamed for not telling you the secret. What secret are you talking about? Why, Yiki? A long time ago, secret. It's unclear. Very, very unclear. When I seek for an answer, it becomes more unclear to me. I see go. I see death. I see blood. Everywhere. I see the death of my mother I hardly know. But one thing I know is a savior. A savior is coming to unveil the secret of our land. For I see the gathering, ninth meal in the palace. Mike, I hate being angry and confused at the same time. If it would take me to kill Tabitha, for my sister to be free, I shall do that. May the gods help me. Amen. Excuse me. My princess.
You are not permitted. All right. You broke my elder sister's heart simply because of the throne? You disgust me! Uh, princess, the truth is, um, I am not proud of it, okay? I am not proud of my actions either. Listen to me, Remy. Becoming a king of this kingdom is like taking a fat meat off a lion's mouth. You will die in the curse. I know what it takes, my princess. Look, I have read a lot of histories about your kingdom. Okay, I know the danger and I'm prepared for it. The royal raider, as it is called. Now you listen to me. If you do not dictate my mind on that day, I will have your head leave your neck. I am prepared for it, my princess. You would never be my husband, even if you win. May the gods bear me witness. I have my eyes on the throne, not on any of you. Untie her. Untie her! My princess, she is violent. Too.
how soft are you? What is wrong with you? How soft are you? You cannot be a princess like this. It's not for the gods. Tabitha would have defaulted you. Why are you stressing me? I did not command the arrest for Tabitha. I did not. I did not order the guards to maltreat a minor. That is not the point. The point is that you cannot see. You're too blind to see. The point is that that little rat is an instrument for destruction. Tabitha is being manipulated just to end your life. Why can't you just say it? Why can't you see it? Look at the way she rushed and, and, and wanted to devour you immediately. She was freed. She even beat you. Why can't you see the ugly writing on the wall? Damn. Uh, do you mean to say that uh, the chosen princess is withholding what rightfully belongs to Tabitha? Yeah. Oh, Diego, my son, it is broad. The way is broad. It can only take the wise to understand. The way is broad. It takes the wise to understand. By the way, who amongst you that is man who knows for Oluwu's daughter? Mahuduba. Oluwu came here with his daughter and with a stern warning. Oh, it's not me. Is this Oma? As I know too well. Eh? Yes, it's true. But my man who did not stand in the sight of that young girl. He did not stand now. She refused to eat, not drink anything, my princess. Send for the healer. Ask the maidens to clean her up, clothe her, and soak her in one of the best oil perfume. Just, just make her beautiful. As you wish, my princess. A strong spell was cast on her from birth. Numerous healers have said the same thing. All the point is for you to heal her, so go ahead and heal her. 
The spell is so powerful. So what are you doing here if you cannot do anything to cast out the spell? You think we are here to joke? All I know is that a strong spell has been cast on her. And it has a link through this very palace. How? That I do not know. And I do not speak when I'm not being permitted to. Wise one from Oko Kingdom. Now tell me. If we kill this little girl, will what is happening to my sister? Stop, sister! We are not killing anyone. We cannot afford to spill blood. No! So, for how long will you continue to live in anxiety and fear? Because of Tabitha and the unknown spirit. How long? Great healer. Please, I beg you. Do something. Think of a solution to this situation, to this predicament. Please. <sighs> Take her back to the tell. I shall embark on a journey in the spiritual world. When I return, she will not trouble you anymore. I'll be glad to see you become king in the land you claim to be a stranger. For how long have you been standing here? Tabitha wanted to hear her. But not the way you wish. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. In three days' time, men shall gather in the palace. They shall desire, wish, and want to be the king by speaking the mind of the crown princess. And you, my friend, shall be among those brave men. What are you doing here? This is my son to be kingdom and palace. So I wonder why you are asking me such an irrelevant and stupid question. You have not answered my question. What are you doing in my father's palace? Why are you so pained on this, Prudentia? Why? You of all people know that I hate failure. I am a go-getter. Yes. <laughs> Listen, the reason of our dating is revealed and uh, it's quite sad that you were not the chosen princess. I am here to marry your sister, your own kid sister. 
and become the future king. And then, I shall order the guards to throw you out of this palace before you kill me with your nasty and stinky jealousy. Remy. I know you very well. I know you are a very hard man. A go-getter, just like you said. You hate to quit. You can go miles just to get what you want. Well, I wish you well on that very day. But, <laughs> if you fail to let the golden broom fall in your favor, <laughs> I, Princess Prudencia, shall order for your head. Your skull shall be placed just at the entrance of this palace gate. And people shall see the foolish, brainless, idiot go get her. <laughs> but before then, <sighs> leave my father's house this minute. <laughs> now. Can't you see I'm shaking? I'm scared. Listen, Prudential, I shall become the king. Then, you, Prudential, will watch me. Order the guards to throw you out of your own father's palace. Guards? Hey, 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 hey. Don't touch me. It's fine, okay? I'll leave. We're not quarreling, but... Fool! Idiots! You will never be the king. A stupid, foolish, dubious... Huma! Tambo. Yes, my princess. My mother asked you to protect me with your life. This is the time. This is the time, Tambo. Don't leave my sight. Do not leave your princess. Please. Please. I pledge. I will die protecting you, my princess. Avail me the opportunity of becoming the king. That's all I want. Well, it's okay, bro. I understand you. But I'm sorry to tell you, bro. It's unfortunate. <coughs> this is your end. What? <coughs> what? 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 I say? What are you talking about, bro? Just give yourself a few minutes, and you will understand <coughs> what I am trying to say. It's beginning to. <coughs> I 
think you can play on my phone. You know what? Um, <laughs> let me just quickly ease myself here, okay? Okay. Just a minute. I won't, I won't be locked. Fast about it, bro. Sure, bro. I'll be long. I just get to myself and um. <laughs> Come on, be fast, bro. I'm coming, bro. So much water in the bladder, you know. I need to pee like a king. Okay. Tom, you're pissing for too long, bro. You need to be like a king, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> so, let's oh, go. Okay. Mm. I'm sorry for keeping you. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Huh? Oh. You're a cigarette. Oh. You're not smoking. Bro. Oh, come on. Nigga, I poisoned your cigarette when you went to. You what? Yes, I poisoned <laughs> your cigarette. Joe, you see, Ugly, dirty, unmannered, and uncultured billionaire sound like you doesn't fit to be on that throne. <coughs> hey, what were you thinking? <coughs> huh? But why? I asked myself. I was asked to run by a Kema, and I kept running without knowing what happened. Had now decided I even thought of my own brothers and where they have been. I thought of it. I said no. I paused and decided to go to Onowu's house to find out what happened, my son. Those wicked guys came and apprehended me and took me to palace, my son. I saw hell. I was bullied. They injured me. They beat me. They said I should provide my two brothers and the pregnant wife, Ulima. How can I provide people I don't even know their whereabouts? They took me to cell. They tortured me. They wanted me to die there. Hey! Oh, a night before the annual festival, the king fell sick and died. After the coronation of his son that gave birth to princess, the two princesses, I was released. I came out alive. I really thank the gods for that singular act, my son. I am ready to join the royal leader. You say? Yes, you heard me right. No. No, you must be joking. Look at this one, though. Mamuku, look at this boy, yo. Do you know what you're talking about? Do you want to be dead? Eh? Do you want them to take off your head from your body? Are you mad?
It is my wish to see you put this on tomorrow, my sunshine. <laughs> Sister, yes, darling. <laughs> I can't wait. Yes. <laughs> you are beautiful. <laughs> Always beautiful. You are adorable, my darling. Sister, you you always flatter me. Ooh. This is who you are. A beautiful princess. <laughs> you see, the truth is sometimes I want to get married. And all the times I really wish to remain single. I mean, spinsterhood is supposed to be fulfilled. Sweetheart. The most adorable princess. You must make our parents proud. Hmm? You must put this on so that our late mother, the queen, will smile release her blessings upon you. I shall be by your side tomorrow and always. The girls are wise. They chose you. You are the chosen one. So please, don't be confused. I love you. I love you too, sister. You are the best sister in the world. I love you forever. You are the best gift I ever have. I will give my life for you. I love you. I love you too. Wanyeke, you can never be like your late mother. She died with her evil. She wanted to undo all that she did. She disobeyed the gods. You already know. <laughs> I see you're speaking from your carnal mind. You are not among us, the living. You already know. Undo that which your mother did. So you will die fulfilling your own hour of death. Break the protocol as the God speaks to your spirit. May I never walk in the path of evil men. The gods have spoken, and I heard it loud and clear. There won't be shade of blood. No man will lose his life. An instant abolishment has been made. Wise one, we have, we have a custom, an age-long tradition, and a way of selecting kings when it comes to this kind of uh, situation. What are you saying? <laughs> oh no, I already know, for the gods had spoken. A king is already among us, for what is written can never be unwritten. Destiny will always play its part. A king is among us. Even without our due process, our usual process? Oh no, if you think I am lying, then you can come and take the golden broom 
and put it on the hair yourself. No, no, we're not doubting the gods. We're just trying to, you know. Huh? Who is the king among these men here? Tell us. Elder, allow me to do my job. Stranger at that, our king? Uh, not possible. He is the chosen one. He is the king. No. no. Wise one. A stranger cannot be our king. It's a taboo. Chicanka, but you are the ambassador of our kingdom. You say. Yes. 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 With this in your hand, anywhere you pass, anything you say, you stand in. I'm binding on all of us, your subjects. Huh? Eh? Yes. <laughs> I have your seat in the Tony Throne. Cha 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 cha, DJ, Bono. Yeah. DJ Lieno. Yeah. DJ Mwano. Yeah. Udo Yebikwao. It looks so beautiful in you, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Thank you. All right. Let me leave both of you. me why the gods chose a total stranger to become the king of this land. 
the will of the gods. I know why you strived to be here. You and I know that we do not love each other. We do not even have feelings for each other. But we must work for the purpose of this land. All I want is for Tabitha to get healed and remain in this palace. But... But what? But he is so beautiful. Truly a queen. Why did the gods choose you instead of your first sister? And why did the gods choose you instead of a soil of this land? You will heal my wounds if you heal Tabitha, for she is my worst nightmare. A doctor will come and see her. So what are you doing? Going back to the beginning. Which is the beginning of the end. I command you to speak. Abita is right. But you, my princess, is wrong. Look. Look at it. You mean this is her greed? So to this is a gift from my mother, the queen. What are you talking about? Her anger is your joy. And her joy is your pain. Look, look at it, my queen. You throw your cowries on the floor and ask me to look at them. How do you expect me to make meaning out of this? These are your cowries, Soto. I see nothing but your cowries. Mm. A friend is betrayed. And a friend is sad. Be careful of a friend. For that which protect you is not a friend, but a friend. The hawk roam 
up in the sky. Not for the fun of the breeze. The head is fixed to the ground, waiting patiently to strike the cheeks when the head is curious. Princess, do not leave the palace. Do not leave the palace. Even if the palace is fallen. For a friend is about to strike my queen. for me. Go to his house and fetch him for me. Thank you. I'm sorry, my princess. I will send the guard to call him. How dare you throw my message to another? making me angry. Why? I am to guard and protect the queen, my princess. I am sorry if my words are rude. <laughs> you amaze me. But it's fine. You may go now. And what is going on, sister? My queen. Never mind, little princess. It's fine. You may go, Tambo. No! A second. What is going on? I sent Tambo here to go fetch me Soto. I had this ill dream last night. Tabita was chasing you non-stop. I sent him to go fetch me Soto so that he can help us get a strong medicine man to heal Tabitha. But no. He said I should send another guard. <laughs> yes. He is your personal guard. He don't need to leave your sight. And he's right. He's right, my little princess. You know we don't know our foes here in the palace. So it's fine. Tambo, you may go. Tambo, is that so? My queen. By the way, why are you acting strange and overprotective lately. What is wrong with you? What is going on? Not in my room. Oh. 
Now go fetch my elder sister, Soto. It is an order! Leave! I said you should forget about him. I can send another guard. Besides, he's right. He is here to protect you always. My darling, we'll never know our foes in this palace. Okay? Sister, Tabitha is being manipulated by some forces, unknown forces. She's about the only violent person in this palace and she's already in chains. I am fine. There is nothing to worry about me. Sweetheart, my darling, are you too quick to forget about Genta's saga? She never confessed who sent her to attack you. Have you forgotten? Sister, Tabitha is being manipulated by some forces. And she happens to be the only violent person in this palace. We have beefed up on security. I, I am fine. There is nothing to worry about me like I said earlier. Okay? Yes. smart and humble servant of the palace. You are a fool. You are a fool because you are so stupid that you didn't sense the danger coming in that palace. What are you talking about? <laughs> you wretched and heartless fool. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know you all didn't see this coming. But I know of all the oily seats and despicable acts in that palace. I know every move you take. Uh, you were enemy of the palace. You know you were man enough. Drop your weapon. Drop it, let's do this. With our mother. Oh, you are lucky I came here alone. Oh, I never saw this coming. I never saw this coming. You want me to drop my weapon? Drop your weapon. I will drop it and let's do this man to man. I am going there. Down. Drop your weapon, fool.
Rest in peace, old fool. You want to challenge me? Rest in peace, bro. Stay at home and watch if she go deliver any sister like this. It is not happening in this kingdom. We'll take care of that. Let's go. No! No! Uh, you see, according to what my late father told me. He said, he said the king was angry that Obike cannot produce a king because of his state of penury, a hunter that he is, a peasant farmer. So they conspired that he cannot be and tried to kill him. Mm -hmm. You see, the elders and the king tried to wipe off his lineage. Who's after you? Nothing is after me. You need to run. Take your wife, your brother, and run as far as you can out of this village. A meeting was conducted at the palace. The throne has left to the palace to your abode. Huh? You are to produce the next king of this kingdom. But the king is not happy about it. Now he has vowed to wipe you and your family out of this kingdom. Hey. I lied to them that you took your wife to the hospital. And I know they will soon come at me to kill me. But I don't care. What I need is for you to be safe, most especially this baby. Do everything within your care to keep the baby safe. Let's go. Let's be here. Let's be here. 
Before my father died at the mission's hospital, he told us the story. And then I was barely 12 years of age. You see, I could remember that story vividly because that was the last word he had with us his children before him. Zumba, my good friend, when are you going back to your mother's country? When the secret is revealed. What secret are you talking about? A lot. The beautiful face behind the ugly mask. The innocent heart haunted for the crime they do not know. My queen, can you give back that which you cherish most to the real owner? Who is this man and what is he talking about? Who are you? The man you know. The man you do not know. Wait. What are you talking about? What I cherish? I can heal Tevita. Wait, you can what? How? It's very simple. Her healing lies in the palm of the queen. Me? Yes, my queen, you. Give back the golden necklace to the owner for it is not yours. Dad! Seize this man this minute. No. Zumba goes nowhere. That is why I'm here. Zumba, talk to us. What do you know about the golden necklace? Speak. And I do not want any interruption from anybody. Speech. This man cannot talk bullock in this palace. The gold was given to my sister by our late mother, the queen. It's not meant for any other person but my sister. What are you saying? Your mother, the queen, stole this gold from the real owner and killed her. Is the meaning of this? I can't watch this madman call my mother a thief. My mother is not a thief. How dare you leave this palace? 
No! No! That is what happened. Your mother, the queen, killed her best friend after her child delivery because of this gold. Why do you think the queen mother died of cancer? Prince Lindiwe, I am Zumba. I know everything from the spiritual and how it all began. But I know. I know everything, even that which you think I do not know. I know them all. I cannot fall for this lie. This is not possible. You don't need to do that. No, 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 you, you can't believe these lies. Our late mother bought the necklace from Dubai. And that was what she told us, right? Zumba, speak to us. We're here to listen to you. This is how it all happened. So you don't go spilling blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend, you're mm. welcome. <laughs> my dear, eh? you, mm. you need to see the golden necklace my husband sent for me from London. Hmm? It is so magnificent. <laughs> Are you yeah. serious? Hmm. Need to see. Hey, see? <laughs> oh my god. Wow! This is beautiful. You can say that again. He said it's a ah! gift for unborn child. <laughs> what a gift to behold. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is so lovely. Mm. <gasps> that man. You just spoil me with expensive jewelries and other things. <laughs> My friend, <laughs> it dash me now. I, I so much love this. What did you just Please. say? Dash? I mean, a gift for my unborn child. Are you for it? <laughs> hey! Hmm. Uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I wish it's mine. I don't want to spoil me with expensive jewelries. Please give it to me now before you use iron steel it. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Beautiful. This will be nice on my daughter when she becomes a queen. Yes. Oh. Mm, I so much love this. Yes. Yes. Oh. Queen Amaka, what have you done? I saw it all in my shrine. Why would you kill your fellow queen? Your friend who just put to bed. Why are you so jealous and angry? I was angry. Her husband gives her a lot. Unlike my husband, your king. But she gives you too. She dashed you a lot from her own jewelries. Enough. Enough! I am Queen Amaka. 
I deserve the best. I deserve those jewelries. Yes. I shall gift it to my daughter when she becomes the queen. <laughs> and she will wear it. You don't know the gravity of what you have brought upon yourself. The gods have laid a curse on you. And you shall no longer bear a fruit of a child. Hey, you and you shall suffer for the rest of your life. Please, Ekenwai. Please, fight for me. Uh, please, Ekenwai. I wish I can undo what I did, but I can't. I want to bear a son. Yes, a prince. Please, Ekenwai. I want to live long. Help me, please. I cannot do anything. For you have soiled your hands in blood. And the baby she gave birth to shall forever haunt your daughter. And any of them you gave that bloody gift to. Kill her. Yes, I can wait. I don't want anything to haunt me, nor my daughters. Please, I can wait. I shall give to diamond, gold, silver, name it. Please, I can wait. I beg you. I cannot kill a royal blood. <laughs> but I shall cast a cost of his sanity on her. So she will be far, far away from your lineage. You shall die with a disease and you shall no longer have happiness for the rest of your life. Wait a minute. Ekewai, what if I return the jewelries? Yes. What if I, I return the gold back to the baby? Please. What have been spoken can never go back to the tongue. The gods has spoken. was what our mother told us, right? You, you can't. You all should not fall for this, 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 this lies. The gods strike Mwanyeke and her way returning from the palace for her total disobedience. She was sent to lay more calls upon the queen mother, your mother. She went and helped her cover up the secrets. And laid the cause of insanity upon the newborn baby on her way leaving the palace that very day. Princess, why do you think the queen mother died of cancer? My queen, return back the golden necklace to the owner for you to have peace. Mm. 
Who are you? And how did you know all this? It was all revealed to me. You will understand who I have been when the time. So we shall take out one watcher, then explain to them very well that she is a princess in the watcher kingdom. Then explain to them how it all happened. They will reason with us. I'm sure they will reason with us. Huh? Your destiny must be fulfilled. You will stay, my darling. You are not going anywhere. You need to stay and know your people. You need to be in good health. You, you are a beautiful soul, my darling. But please, do me a favor and forgive the queen. Please. I forgive the queen mother. I forgive her. Congratulations once again. Now I understand the reason all protocols were pended because of you. You are a king from birth. Yes. I'm happy you've regained your sound mind and tranquility in this palace. You are correct. For the very first time in a long time, I slept like a newborn. I felt like I felt a burden has been lifted off my shoulders. I feel peace inside of me now. I am a free queen. It's time to take a walk with my sister. I'll see you on my return. Lady, my queen. I promise to protect you. So I wish to go with you. Not to worry, my king. I'll be fine. Besides, we are within this vicinity. We're not going far from this palace. It is a sister's walk. We've always had this walk since our teen days. It is where we, where we get to pour out our pains and throw them away, far, far away. I shall see you on my return. It's loud outside. You can't trust anyone. I feel very uncomfortable. It's a red sign. So, I wish to go with you, or I beef up the gods. My king, like I said earlier, there is nothing to worry about. It is a sister's walk, my blood sister. Besides, my sister is a warrior, do not underestimate her. <laughs> I shall see you on my return. I know you are disappointed with our mother's behavior. You know, right? Yes. 
She is unpredictable. And it's unfortunate. I... I hope you will be able to forgive me too. Sister, mm -hmm. you are not like our mother. Okay? You are wrong. I am just a replica of our mother, the Queen. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am like our mother, the queen, you know. And you, like your real father, the king, the late king. Lindwe, we are not bloods. Sister, what has gotten over you? What, what do you mean? We are blood. It is time to unveil the true me. <laughs> no, no, no. I have buried this in my mind for a very long time now. Sister. Linduin. This is end of the road. For you, my sister. Sister, 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 you are my blood. You are my blood. Don't let them take me away, sister. You are my blood. You are not your blood. You are not your blood. I am not your blood. Not your blood. Not your blood. Not your blood. I am not your blood. Take your men and capture the palace. It is time to take over what rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> yes, my princess. I will see you at the other end. <laughs> How do you mean? Do you remember the man you buried in the bush? the journey in the wilderness. Uh, oh, yes, 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 I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. He asked me to bury him under a tree. I am the man. <laughs> so, but come on, you've got to be kidding me. What are you talking about? You don't need to be scared. Your parents asked me to protect you and the throw. No evil shall come near you. At any slight point you get close to danger, there will always be a savior. Hey! What is... what... what... what's... You're a good man. For the sake of your kindness, you will not be put to death. Now let me tell you about who you really don't know. The evil princess. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's okay. I've heard you. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back. Oh, my love. <laughs> who is my biological father? My, my, my mother, who is my biological father? I want to know right now. Uh, the king! What has come over you? Mother, I am not joking. I am not joking with you. Who is my biological father? Speak! Uh, Ramaphosa. Uh, Ra Ramaphosa from the tribe of Zulu. He is your father. He 
he is your real father. Why? Why, mother? Why didn't you tell me all this why? Why? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, forgive me. I didn't mean to keep this away from you. He impregnated me and ran away. He abandoned us. You were barely a month old in my belly when the king saw me and fell in love with me in the country. He never knew about the pregnancy, so he brought me down to Nigeria and got married to me. I love you like I love your sister. And that's the truth. The gods will not choose me as the crown princess. Because I am not a royal blood, my husband would not be the king of this kingdom. I will never be a queen just like your mother. Why? I will never let that happen. Over my dead body will I allow it happen. Mark my words and pet me. Excuse me, please. I have an assignment for you, and it's from the princess. Which of the princesses? Princess Prudentia. What exactly am I doing this time? Because I don't understand. Am I cooking for another event? Again? Yes, you are to cook. But this time not for an event. Your assignment is to kill Princess Lidiwe. May the gods forbid. What, what are you talking about? How dare you say that, Jojo? Oh, oh, shut up, you fool. Listen, that assignment must be carried out tonight. Poison her food. Make sure she does not see the next day. And listen, if you dare do otherwise, I am sorry because you're a dead man. Fool. I overheard the queen telling her, that her father is a Zulu man from South Africa. Is that why she wants to kill her own sister? Oh my God. Her sister is the true princess. I know what to do. I will write an application for a two days leave. I use that opportunity to run. Run far away from here. I cannot spill royal blood. No way. I will run with my family to the city. You say it's an emergency. Y yes, Your Majesty. Two days? Yes, Your Majesty. But why don't you bring your sick father to the royal hospital? I mean, it will cost you nothing. He insisted on herbal medication, Your Majesty. I hope for this one. <sighs> yes, my princess. The chef wants to go for two day leave.
when I hope all is well. Yes, my, my princess. You may go. I wish you all the best. Um, send me word to your sick father. Yes, Your Majesty. not the angel you think to your wife, the queen. You have let loose your protective instincts and now her desires will become an accomplishment. To kill my wife? To kill the queen? My wife? No, 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 no. Not, not my wife. No. <laughs> no. What's going on here? They went after Zumba. Where is your friend, Zumba? My friend is long gone. And you can never get him, never. He is irrelevant anyways. <laughs> My name is Queen Prudencia. <laughs> Your queen. Your own queen. <laughs> Permit me to announce to you that I run this show. This so pregnant. <laughs> I started burning it from the little of it until this top. <laughs> I deserve to be in your pain. I'm that stupid. Princess, I can call her a queen. Lent away. She took everything from me. She took everything from me. Everything. A mother's love. Everything. I've killed a lot. I killed them all. I killed them. Yes. I killed in Kenta. 
Tutu. Sambo. I killed all of them. You know why? Kill the chosen princess. Or you die. My princess. Have it. Anything that will make you go for this assignment. And you dare mention my name. As you call my name. You shall lose your sick mother. Yes. Your brother and your twin sister. All of them will join you in the land of the dead. She will call you. Go there. Slend her. Oh. Everything in your family shall die. Of that stupid Lindway. I have so waited for this day. A day like this, that I will be the queen of Kulumbutsu Kingdom. <laughs> Dying and why? With my cousin, Jojo, who is also 
my lover. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh, I'm so <laughs> <laughs> Surprise? Mm. <laughs> Surprise! Jojo. My queen. Let me have the book. Oh. With all pleasure, my queen. <laughs> Take over. <laughs> hey, hey. Say I'm not praying. Uh-huh. Taking over. <laughs> oh, keep praying, bro. <laughs> Taking over. <laughs> That pretends to be a bird. And so, in your mind now, you thought you have won the battle. You were smart, but the gods were smart. Hey, <laughs> Das. Sit. Please sit. Let us sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Let us plan on how we can run this era. The era of Queen Prudence here. <laughs> you can never be queen. Never! We curse you forever. You think you've won? You think so? Won? No. I flushed the bad eggs. This is a new era. <laughs> Queen Prudentia's era. Oh, your era ends today. Your men did not kill me. That is the mistake you made. They didn't search the palace for a surviving soul. How dare you talk when I am talking? Who gave you that impetus? Who? You called the elders for me? You rats! You called the elders for me? And I will stop! Stop! stop.
Who has this palace disgrace? How dare you? You thought you are smart, but the gods have shown that they are smarter. Fool! Drop that gun. I don't even think of pulling the trigger. I am not allow it to happen. I watched everything. I saw it all. You are the evil one. You mm -hmm. are your man. Officer! Go to go! Go to go for the last time. Just obey and drop the gun. Drop the gun! Hey! <laughs> 